Hello, welcome everybody again to the Galax Pro Woodworking Room. Today we're taking you through another couple of power tools and today it will be the jigsaw. So if you want to learn about the jigsaw and how it works, let's go. So here I have the two jigsaws. One is the 78121 and the other is the 78221. So they're pretty much the same. Uh, though they have a couple of differences so today I'm just gonna be taking you through these differences and I'm gonna show you uh, what to take heat off in case you run into a situation where you want to learn how to use a jigsaw so first of all you want to know about how it is similar to the circular saw so it is similar to the circular saw in the sense that it has a best plate it does have a handle it has a cord and it has a, a saw blade. The difference between the jigsaw and the circular saw though is that the jigsaw has a straight saw blade and this saw blade cannot be uh, adjusted its length. So in the next part of this video I want to be showing you the differences between these two different jigsaws. Next part of this video I want to take you through the 78221L jigsaw. So in this jigsaw first thing you want to know is the speed adjustment level. The first level is the minimum level and at this level the tool does not move. Next up we have the laser guide. This tool has a laser guide which can help you to make more precise cuts. This jigsaw also has a spindle lock button. This spindle lock button can help you to keep the tool running even when not pressing on this button right down here. This can help you free your hands to move other parts of the projects during your projects. So the 78221L has a tool free blade change. So for you to change the blade, it's very easy. You just need to press down here and get the tool in. And there you go, the tool is set up. This can help you to go through fast into your projects. Next part about the 78221L is the parallel guide. Now the parallel guide can be used when you want to do straight cuts. If you want to do S cuts, you cannot use a parallel guide through. So the oscillation level can be changed between 0 to 3. These are four different oscillation levels. The difference between these levels is that the lower oscillation level run at a lower speed and therefore can help you cut through materials with more precision. If you want to cut through metal, for example, you will need to stay on the lower oscillation levels. If you want to cut through wood, on the other hand, you might choose to go through higher oscillation levels or lower oscillation levels according to your cutting requirements. Next up, we're going to show you how you can use this tool in your different projects. Let's go. So, in this next part I want to take you through the 78121. It is not so different from the 78221 except that it does not have a laser and it has a different blade changing system. So for you to be able to change the blade in the 78121 you will need a hex key so we use the hex key to loosen the screws up here and after loosening them you can input the blade once the blade is in You can tighten your, crew, your screw and you're ready to go. So next part, you want to know about, it has the spindle lock as well, but has 12 different levels of speed. So just like the 78221L, this one, first level, minimum level, does not allow you to have the tool run. But as you go up level to level, the speed increases. It also has a dust extraction pan and the ability to cut at 0 degrees and 45 degrees, both sides.
to change to cut 45 degree cuts, you will like to use the hex key to first unscrew the screws down at the best plate. After unscrewing the key, you can measure the 45 degrees on your material and screw back. Same process goes for the 7, 8, 1, 2, 1. 